Hi, I'm here today to review the Baumatic BDIF 631 Integrated Dishwasher. Um, when it arrived, we were quite impressed with the packaging, very easy to remove, lifted the box off the top, sorted. Um, we were also quite like the back of the dishwasher. Our previous dishwasher had no adjustable legs. This one has, you use a 30 millimeter spanner, twist them round and they adjust the height to fit to your work surface. Our previous one had no adjustable legs, so this was quite handy. We had to wedge the last one up on pieces of wood and plinth. Um, the only thing I will say about that is we have a tiled floor and once we'd adjusted the height and got it level, pushed it into place, unfortunately, the bottom of the leg caught on one of the grouted tiles and snapped off. So quite hilariously, our dishwasher is still wedged up on pieces of wood and plinth. The instruction manual that came with it for fitting was very, very simple. My husband and I fitted it in about an hour, an hour and a half. Didn't have any arguments either. Done. To fit the front door, that was also very easy. The washing machine came with brackets that you fit onto your existing door and then you just screw it onto the dishwasher door. The dishwasher door we felt was a little bit flimsy when we first opened it but since we fitted the panel on the front it's actually quite sturdy and, and very solid. There's a good catch on the door, it fits quite firmly and simply. Um, the bottom drawer, one of the features I quite like is it has a stop system so when you pull the tray out um, you can't pull it any further than that. Our previous dishwasher had no such stop system and the tray you could pull it out and drop it all over the floor. So basically if you've got young children that are maybe helping you, this is quite a good safety feature I felt. The cutlery tray, very handy. It comes apart, so should you wish to wash a large pot, you don't want to use the whole cutlery tray, you can split it in half, pop it in a different area of the dishwasher and it gives you quite a large space to maybe wash big pans um, and it just clips back together very easily like that. They also come with like little lids to help you with your cutlery if you wish you can put all your knives in separate little parts and um, spoons upside down. I'm far too lazy for that I just throw them all in one bit and hope for the best so I won't be using those. These fit in there nice and simple easy. Melita I have two dinner plate sizes I have a 29 centimetre plate and a 25 centimetre plate in my last dishwasher, we couldn't wash the 29 centimetre plates because when you put them in, they caught on the runner for the top drawer or the top tray. And so it was very difficult to get them fitted in. Moving on to the top tray, lots of features about this I like. One thing we were quite sad about was my wine glass. It wouldn't fit wasn't very impressed until I spotted the super feature here. Now on the end of the runners you can clip the ends off, you can take the tray completely out and you can load it back in on the lower wheel, clip the ends back on to secure it into place and as if by magic, ta -da! my wine glass is fit. The other thing I noticed about this that was quite handy was, if you have it on that one, you can lower down the little racks and you can fit two rows of mugs. I quite like that if you've had lots of people around, lots of cups of coffee, double the washing up, don't you? These little racks clip in very simply and they just clip into place there should you need them to. You can put things on top of there, extra cutlery, utensils. Simple. The rinse aid and the detergent go in here. The detergent has a little slidey drawer. Pop your tablet in there, close it together, that's in. The rinse aid, it fills in there and you can change the amount of rinse aid that's used. There is a little viewing platform that you can see that tells you when the rinse aid if that hole there is dark it's full doesn't need filling 
if it's light it needs refilling yep one of the things i've spotted about this that i don't like is there is no indicator for the salt refill so if the dishwasher needs refilling salt there's nothing to tell you it does you've just got to wait for the streaky pans to let you know it needs filling um, moving on to the programs now there is a variety of programs that you can use they're all listed across the top and they're all listed very clearly in the instruction book that comes with it it tells you which ones have a pre-wash which ones you need to check to make sure the rinse aid is full the temperatures and also the amount of time it takes for the wash cycle I found this quite useful because I do often use um, dishwasher cleaner in my dishwasher and this has an actual program for dishwasher cleaning so you can choose whichever cycle you want the refresh cycle they suggest is just a five minute cycle for rinsing pots so you don't need to rinse your pots before you put them into the dishwasher you can just pop it on a, on a refresh cycle and it will do it for you lots and lots of features on the programs the main program that Sort of we had a look at and decided we'd probably use would probably be the p3 which is the once a day soil pots and pans and if they've been left all day and they're a little bit dried on that would be a good one or you can use the eco p5 which is just a very low temperature but a very quick cycle the quick cycle they do is the 53 59 minute cycle here um we put some pots and pans in the other day and this one i don't know if you can see this was a burger pan i put burgers in it and there was very burnt on fat burnt on burgers on the 59 minute cycle and you can see that there is slight marking still where the burgers were it's clean but it's not quite perfectly clean so i should have really put it i think on a 75 a p1 or a p2 but i just thought that that was a good example to show that it is very clean but still not perfect to turn it on and off very simply you press the button down it turns on to tell you it's on you choose your program there is a timer delay on here very easy to use instructions in the instruction book there's an eco button so if you want to save 25% power and for heating the water that's on there this button is for um, integrated all-in-one tablets so if you're using one of these all-in-one tablets you can press that button and it adjusts automatically the wash cycle to accommodate the all-in-one I'm going to put a wash on now so you can hear how noisy it is to start so I'm just going to pop it on the P7 the 59 minute one so you pop it on P7 you press the little blue button to release the should have got that out before I started putting it in there. There we go, in there, and then that just slides across till it clicks. Press the start button. Job done. very quiet once it finishes the machine will audibly beep for three seconds three times over a 90 second span it has that beep facility you can mute it so it doesn't beep all the time I've done a little list of pros and cons while it's getting going you'll hear it start properly in a minute we said we liked it because it was easy to fit. It had adjustable legs. The adjustable rack at the top was fantastic for the wine glasses. Um, the eco-friendly timer delay, that was also very useful. Um, if you have economy seven, you can put it on to come on at three in the morning and it's done on the cheap electric. The rack stop on the bottom drawer was very useful. Just stop it falling out. The adjustable cutlery basket and the ability to make it smaller was useful because if you had big pans, you can still do your cutlery. Um, the smart wash and the easy clean cycle will be useful for us because I do like to keep it clean inside and don't really like to put it on a sort of 130 minute wash just to give it a clean. The eco button to reduce the time that the machine is on and the cleaning temperature was also 
um, a feature I quite liked and it is very quiet wash. The only things we disliked about it were the poor quality plastic legs that broke, the loud beep on the finish but again we could choose to mute that if we wanted to and there was no salt low indicator. There it is, it's just starting now. Okay, thank you very much. Hope my review's been useful. I would recommend this dishwasher and hopefully if you decide to purchase one, you will enjoy it as much as I have. Thank you very much.